in the previous part we talked about the neutral fats or the true fats and we also discussed how these fat molecules form and because they are neutral fats which we call the true fats they were formed by the reaction of glycerol with fatty acids and glycerol can bind with three fatty acids as it has three OH and depending upon which type of fatty acid is binding with glycerol we can get saturated fats and unsaturated fats this part we have already seen now what we are going to discuss in short is the use of these fats that is neutral fats and then we'll come to the second category of simple fats that is waxes so if with glycerol we have saturated fatty acid the fat which is formed is called saturated fat the other one is glycerol this is glycerol with unsaturated fatty acid we would have unsaturated fat now the technical difference between these two is the type of fatty acid that is present but physically we can identify it by a very simple thing saturated fats are solid at room temperature and unsaturated fats are liquid there is one more change which takes place in our body in these fat molecules unsaturated fats undergo hydrogenation that is addition of hydrogen we have already talked of that unsaturated fats have double and triple bonds so when hydrogenation that is addition of hydrogen takes place these double bonds break and those free electrons they pair with hydrogen that means ultimately double and triple bonds would break to give us single bonds so unsaturated would change into saturated fats unsaturated fats are believed to be good for our health because this is the process which is taking place in our body so if we eat more and more of unsaturated fat over a period of time in our body it is going to get converted into saturated fat and by that time probably we would already use them but if we take saturated fat directly because these saturated fats have a tendency to get deposited in our blood vessels and that is why people who are health conscious or who want to uh, you know uh, say that they want to protect their heart and they are worried about their uh, blood cholesterol and all those things they normally go for unsaturated or polyunsaturated fats basic thing which is happening is unsaturated gets converted into saturated and we need saturated fat also in our body unsaturated fat is normally found in uh, plants that is vegetable so unsaturated is in plants mostly and saturated fat is normally in animals so all animal fat that we get is normally saturated all plant oils that we get they are normally unsaturated now coming to the functions of these neutral fats there are two main functions which are performed by these or rather we can say three functions number one they are deposited under the skin so that is subcutaneous fat and subcutaneous fat acts as insulator this acts as insulator so it helps in conserving heat in our body the second function this fat is deposited around organs and if it is around the organs then it is acting as a protective layer so this fat protects the organs from mechanical shock protects from mechanical shock 
And the third function is that this fact as, uh, is uh, stored in our body as a reserve form of energy. Reserve form of energy. So these are the three functions which are performed by neutral fats which we call the simple and true fats. Now let us talk about the second category of simple fats and that was waxes. Waxes are also esters of fatty acid and an alcohol. That alcohol can be any alcohol except glycerol. So these are esters of fatty acid and alcohol other than glycerol. Then that ester would be termed as wax. We have talked of many types of waxes. We have heard of many types of waxes. We will take all examples. The first one are plant waxes. We have heard, we have seen that in case of hydrophytes, the plants which are in water, that is aquatic plants, there is a waxy coat on the surface because wax acts as a barrier layer for water. If we dip any leaf in water, in some time it starts rotting. But because of this waxy coat on the leaf, the water doesn't come in contact with the tissue directly because of this layer. So this is with substance called cutin, it forms the cuticle. And it is normally found in hydrophytes. Another type of wax which we are talking of is bee wax. The wax which is produced by honeybees to make their hives. The cells, hexagonal compartments which are present in the hive, they are made of this bee wax. So this bee wax is secreted by wax glands which are in the last abdominal segment of worker bees because these are the workers only which are going to construct the hive so only bees which are worker bees they have these glands in the last abdominal segment and that from where they secrete this wax it is yellow and soft bee wax is soft and yellow. Another wax which we have in our body is known as ear wax which technically is known as serum. It is secreted by ceruminous glands which are present in the external auditory meters of our external ear. Cerumen, which we commonly know or call as ear wax and its function is protection of the tympanic membrane or eardrum. Another example is sebum or which we commonly call oil. We have these glands all over the body but most of these glands are present in the facial region. Many a times we find that our face turns oily. That is because of these glands, that is sebaceous glands. And the secretion is known as seba. Sebaceous glands. And their secretion is called oil normally. Let us take one more example of wax. It is called linoleum. Or commonly, it is known as wool wax. It is present in the wool. That is, the hairy structures which are present on the sheep's body, they have this, this particular waxy coat on that hairy structure. So these all waxes, they also are simple facts, but the difference is, Instead of glycerol, there is another base. And again, it is going to have fatty acid associated with it. And these fatty acids can be 
saturated fatty acids or unsaturated fatty acid. Depending upon which fatty acid is there, we would have different types of waxes. And here we have not discussed one wax that is paraffin wax. Paraffin wax doesn't come in this category. It is obtained as a part or a component from crude oil when we separate petrol, diesel from petroleum. That is where we get paraffin wax. That doesn't come in this category. So here we have only plant waxes, bee waxes, ear wax, sebum that is oil and linoleic. So with this we are done with simple uh, fats which included the neutral ones or true fats and waxes. Now in the next category or next uh, part we would start with the compound or conjugated fats and then the derived fats that is sterols and all.